It's showtime! The carnival has come to town! <laughs> Folks have come from miles around to see the giant balloons, the sideshows on the midway, and to frolic on the wonderful rides. Why, Franco is even being kind to Pinocchio. <laughs> I just love the merry-go-round. Pinocchio, you've never been to the carnival before today, have you? No, but I had so much fun, I spent all my money. <laughs> I spent mine too. I'm tapped out. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up and see the most sensational display on this or any other midway. It's a genuine Mediterranean mermaid. Probably the most incredible display in carnival history. My friends, this may be the most important chance of a lifetime. Imagine being in the presence of this beautiful immortal who could breathe life into a stick of wood. Does that mean maybe she could make a puppet become a real boy? Don't be so stupid, Pinocchio. Not even a mermaid can make a puppet become a real boy. Well, how do you know what a mermaid might be able to do, huh? That mermaid isn't even real. If she was real, what would she be doing in a flea-bitten carnival? Mermaids live on the bottom of the ocean. They don't like the land. Besides, she's half fish. Why doesn't she make herself half human? Maybe she will. And maybe she likes being the way she is, and if I asked her, she'd turn me into a real boy. Maybe so. It's very important to me that I should become a real boy. I'm afraid it might be another disappointment for you. I'm beginning to get used to being disappointed, Anna. And if the mermaid isn't real, I haven't lost anything by finding out. I think I'll go and ask her now. The man won't let you in to see the mermaid. You have no more money. <gasps> You'd better forget about it, Pinocchio. <coughs> Why don't we go home now? We don't have to leave just because we're out of money. We can still play on the midway. It might be fine to play on the midway, but I think you're planning to see that mermaid no matter hey, what. Hey, you kids! <gasps> go someplace else. You're bugging my paying customers. <gasps> They don't want to come with me, I'll just do it alone. After all, they're already real humans. What do they care about me? I guess this is as good a place as any. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the world's greatest attraction, brought to you at incredible expense by yours truly. Oh, modesty forbids me to mention the many hardships I've endured to bring you this young maid here. What the...? Uh. So, may I now present Melissa the Mermaid, the great discovery of the one and only Schneeroff! I'll speak to Melissa. Maybe she'll help me. Hey, beat it! Oh. I want to go home. Won't somebody please help me to leave this place? Hmm? Will I ever see my sisters again, or will I spend my entire life here among strangers? Maybe you'll help me. I'm terribly unhappy. You look like a nice boy. Won't you help me to go home? They've got to cross this bridge to get out of town. Aha, here they come now. I'd better hide over in the weeds. It was indeed the carnival leaving town, with the evil Sneeroff riding in the lead. And as Pinocchio watched the wagon with the mermaid pass by, his determination to meet her was renewed. He put a simple plan into action. Yeah, I got it, I got it! Hey, pull up! What 
What's going on back there? Swim so fast! I'm not gonna hurt you! There she is now! After her men! Hurry! Wait, Melissa! Please! After them, you fools! Quickly, I want them both! That boy wants to help me escape! Why is he chasing me? Why is she swimming so fast when I helped her to escape? Oh. Oh. Please don't take me back there! Don't worry, Melissa. I don't work for Mr. Sneeroff. My name's Pinocchio, and I'm here to help you. There they are! Oh. Stay right there, you! Dive! We're safe now. Oh! <gasps> Keep rowing! Those two must be around here someplace and I'll find them. Keep a sharp eye out, you man! <gasps> you mustn't go out there now. Why not? They're still there. I can't believe a human. Huh? No! <clears throat> What's the matter with you? I'm only trying to help you get away. My mother told me not to trust a human. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a human, I'm a puppet. Huh? It's true, my whole body's made of wood. Oh. Well, you look very much like a human being to me. <laughs> Maybe that's because my father is a human being, and he made me into a boy so I could keep him company. He's a nice human. I've never met one. Oh, there are plenty of nice human beings in the world, but you really mustn't compare them to all those bad people you've met, like Mr. Sneeroff. Maybe you're right. But what's going to happen now? I'm going to take you home. That is, I would take you home if I knew where your home was. Oh, my home is very far away on the island of the mermaids. Oh. I was the princess of all the mermaids, and even though our island was very beautiful, I was unhappy because it's forbidden for us to appear on the surface in daylight. We would sit on the rocks at night and wonder what it would be like to bask in the sun. Until one morning, I decided to find out for myself. So I slipped away from the others and swam to the surface. And it was everything I'd hoped for. It's absolutely magnificent! <laughs> but I was soon to be punished for my folly. Ahoy! Mermaid off the port beam, bring something to fetch her aboard. Oh! Oh! Mermaids know where all the sunken treasure is located, so if you're smart, you'll take my ship to where you've hidden it. Yeah. But treasure? I don't know anything about any treasure. <laughs> I thought the pirates had treated me badly. I didn't know it then, but there was worse to come. Sneer off ship off the poor quarter! It was worse than I could have imagined. Lower a boat and take me to Patch before he starts target practice. They were two of a kind who knew each other well. My compliments, Mr. Sneeroff, but what villainy brings you here this time? <laughs> Hardly villainy, Captain Patch, but perhaps we might find something with which to turn a mutual profit as we have in the past. I'm afraid I have nothing that would interest you. <laughs> Not even a little maiden. Just worthless flotsam, old friend. I'd be pleased to relieve you of the burden. Regretfully, my mother always made me care for the weak and helpless. <laughs> Captain, I am deeply moved by your benevolence. 
That night, when everyone was asleep, Mr. Sneroff proved himself to be worse than the pirates. Roll for your life, my lad. We've got to be out of the reach of Patch's guns by morning, or he'll blow us out of the water. over a year ago and I've been his prisoner ever oh, since. Why, that's terrible. We've got to get you back to your island. But first, you've got to promise to do something for me. Huh? Mermaids have magic powers and you're a mermaid. So promise that you'll turn me into a human. Oh, but I can't do that. If you want me to help you get back to your island, you've got to promise to help me. All right, Pinocchio, I promise. That mermaid is worth a fortune to me. We can't let her get away. Oh, they're coming back again. I know, but we're safe enough here. Really? Sure, but please tell me something, will you? If I can. How long will it take to turn me into a real human? And will I be real flesh and blood like my classmates and everybody else I know? I don't know. I've never done it before. Well, that's okay. We all have to start somewhere. Oh, maybe the old wise one could do it. She would be the only one. That's great. It must be someone very wise to make real magic. Yes. Will you please take me home now? You bet I will. I'm going to be a real boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm certain she hasn't made it to the open sea. She may just decide to swim underwater all the way down to the estuary. This way, men! What is it? It's the sea! Can't you smell that wonderful scent? How I've dreamed of this moment. I'm almost home! You mean Mermaid Island's close by? Only an ocean away! Be careful, Melissa! You're swimming too fast! There may be some traps at the mouth of the river! Ah! Oh, Melissa, be careful! Ah! Ah -ha! Somebody's below! Don't pet it, Melissa! Oh, it's just a net! We've got to try to swim around it! Start closing the gap! Ah! Now pull! My little minnows must be tired after such an exciting swim. Won't somebody come and help us now, please? Oh, to be as free as that crab. Maybe his nippers could be our way out of here. Hey, Mr. Crab! Could you help us out of here, please? Please, Mr. Crab! Yeah! <gasps> He's not gonna be able to pinch through the net! <laughs> Come aboard, my little minnows! Oh, please, Mr. Crab, don't let them capture us now! My beautiful net! Oh, I just want you to know that good help is hard to find these days! Thank goodness we've made it to the open sea and we're safe, aren't we? I'd say so, at least for now, Melissa. Free at last from the evil clutches of the carnival owner Sneeroff, the Little Mermaid was able to swim in the sun. With Pinocchio at her side, she made for Mermaid Island, enjoying her magic kingdom for the first time in daylight. All the creatures of the sea delighted at her passage and performed a colorful underwater ballet. All their grief was momentarily forgotten in the splendor of their surroundings. 
See how happy everybody is to welcome you back to your home, Melissa. It must be wonderful to have so many friends. <laughs> But other things lurk under the sea, like once fine ships sent to the bottom by such as Captain Patch. Why don't we go up closer to the surface, Melissa? This place kind of gives me the creeps. This is only one of the cemeteries of the sea. There are many places just like it, and there will be many more as long as there are wicked humans who sink great ships. Let's get away from here. We've arrived at the Island of the Mermaids. Oh, I can't wait to see my sisters. What a beautiful place to live. Oh, you're flying the flag. A flag? What's the matter with that? Isn't it customary? We've never had a flag because we don't want humans to know about this island. Well, who do you suppose it belongs to then? Oh, there's a big ship. It's the pirate ship. Oh, look, they have all my sisters in cages. Oh, it's terrible to escape and to come home to something like this. My homeland will never be happy again. Now that we've come through all this trouble, you mustn't allow yourself to lose hope. We'd better get away from here before they catch us too. Wait a minute. We mustn't allow them to be taken away without making an attempt to rescue them. What can the two of us do by ourselves? If there's only one possibility of saving them from the pirates, we've got to make an effort. Am I right? I guess so, but aren't you afraid? Of course, but if I'm ever going to become a real human, I've got to try. Perhaps you're counting too much on becoming a human. It might not be possible to transform you. I don't believe that. It's just because you're discouraged. Now let's see if any mermaids escape. I'm only trying to save you from more disappointment. But if you really want to look for others, I'll show you the way. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Listen, my childhood dream has always been to steal the mermaid's secret treasure. Are you swabs trying to spoil a little boy's dream? Huh? Captain, the mermaid we lost before is swimming up the channel. The little princess? Where is she? Off your starboard bow, sir. She jumped ship on sneer off too. Belay that, men. The booty you're looking for is swimming up the channel. Away! I'll kill all the brat from here to the Azores until she tells me where the treasure is, the little vixen. Put your back into it. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, no, look, it's the pirates. Oh, my. It's a dead end. What are we going to do? <laughs> Might as well give up. <laughs> hey, I've asked you, lovers. <laughs> Where'd you go? After the puppet, me hearties! And as Captain Patch in his towering rage gave chase, Melissa, far underground, arrived at a secret place known only to the mermaids. It was dark and deserted. Or so she thought. Melissa! Oh! Oh! Strike your colors and come about, you scurvy swab! It's my friend Pinocchio! I'm glad to see that you're safe too, Melissa. The pirates almost caught me, but I fell through the roof. I'm sorry I left you. Wait, who is your friend? I am called the Old Wise One. Hey, Melissa told me about you. Isn't she the one who's going to turn me into a real human being? Well, I don't know. What's this prattle about? This mermaid is the Old Wise One who can do the magic. 
You're supposed to be able to turn me into a real human being. Me do magic? Please, Mrs. Mermaid, make me a real human being so that people won't make fun of me anymore. Princess Melissa, did you really promise such a thing to this poor boy? I didn't mean to mislead him, but I was so afraid of those bad people. You mean, you, you can't? I'm terribly sorry, but there's no way I have the power to turn a puppet into a human being. So you lied to me! You were lying to me all along and I came all this way for nothing! Please understand, I was afraid you'd leave me alone and Mr. Sneeroff would capture me again. <laughs> I've been a fool! Everybody tries to make a fool out of me! I'll never be anything but a stupid wooden puppet! I wish I had never been made! <laughs> stupid, stupid! I should have minded my own business! <laughs> <laughs> I've got him! Now, your little bilge rat. Hmm. Prepare yourself for that voyage that no one ever returns from, matey. <laughs>